my last video I showed you how we can predict that the SPY is basically going to continue upwards at some point in time in the you know somewhat mid to near future. I'm going to show you a different way you can look at this uh, without using any technicals whatsoever. You're just going to use corporate action. So I'm going back in time here. We're going to start at 2008. So 2008 financial crisis. We saw a big drop off here. Uh, 2007 basically all the way down to March. <laughs> it's always March man. March of 2009. Now, what I want you to pay attention to is the dividend placement. Dividend came in at 320. 2009 recovery was already underway, but continued well after that. Now, next crisis. Let's go to let's go to the 2016 trade war presidential elections uh, era going to be right here. What do you notice here? Slightly after the bottom, we have another dividend come out on the 18th of, <laughs> of March and enter into recovery. Now, this is where it gets interesting because ever since LIBOR to SOFR, take a look at this shit. This dividend here came in on the 16th, right here. We had another downtrend and then we recovered. But take a look at this right here on this little dip what do you see you see a dividend occur on the 21st the day after that was the bottom and then we recovered now let's take a look at covid covid dividend was reported on march 20th the day after was the bottom and then we recovered Now we're going to go to current day. Okay, so here, 617, we have it had a dividend. And then afterwards we recovered. So is it safe to say that if we receive a dividend in a quote bear market, like a real bear market, like we're talking like lowest prices we've seen here since, you know, <laughs> a year earlier in March. Is it not safe to assume that if you see the dividends show up in a bear market, is this, isn't it safe you could call that dividend the bottom? In my opinion, yes. Because not only did we get a recovery here, we had a dividend on the 18th of March, which went into a little boost, and then we saw another dip down. But this dividend placement here is very peculiar because... I'm thinking this was the bottom, the 617 dividend. It was the lowest price point we saw. And since then, we've had one, two, three, four, with a little downtrend there, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, with a little downtrend there, up until 13 green days. So just keep that in mind, just another way to look at it. Dividend placement may be relevant. Right there, it was the bottom. Right here, it could be the bottom. Right here, it was the bottom. Right there. Dividend per share, 144 and 1221, 2018. Dividend here near the bottom. Dividend here slightly after the bottom. Dividend here slightly before the bottom. Dividend here slightly before the bottom. Dividend here slightly after the bottom. So just another way to look at it. Just thought you'd think that was interesting.